believe it or not, um, I don't, uh, I'm not the one man show type of person, um, and I don't particularly enjoy the one man show uh, type of context. That's, that's not, that's just not who I am. 25 years ago, I, um, we, I, I had, I had a group, we had a group, we had a band, um, we did acknowledge it, uh, people acknowledged my abilities and I acknowledged other people's merits and we got together based on common interests and, um, uh, we, we started something. We started something interesting and it, it did last for a while. This was 25 years ago. Nowadays, it gets harder and harder to um, communicate, I guess. It gets harder and harder to um, get together with people based on common interests. And when you do get together with people, it, it, it almost always it, that happens in a, a synthetic environment. Okay, so, okay, you want to talk uh, literature, you want to talk philosophy, you want to talk humanities, you want to talk painting, wh whatever you want to talk, there, there's, a th there's a thing called meetups on, uh, on Google, and um, yeah, just, just sign up to Google, S sign up to Google meetups, and they will hook you up with a group, with a convenient group of people in one way or another and um, well basically that may not be um, the best solution to this problem to the problem of loneliness I guess or the, the problem of doing things by yourself why does this happen well it's um, it is in the infrastructure. I know I'm, I'm using this uh, this terminology a lot, infrastructure, infrastructure. Well, what does that mean, really? Uh, well, it's it's in the roads, basically. It's in the roads. It's in our 9 to 5 schedule. It's in the, the suburbs we live in, and it's in the lifestyle that we assume for ourselves. Okay, so I, I, I live in a house right now, and... Um, most people are like me. Most people are like in my situation. Um, they they consider selling their houses continuously. Okay, so you you move to a new suburb. You 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 move to a new house on a new hill. Um, you you're, you're not there to stay. If you know what I mean, you're just you're just moving from one context to another really quickly. So, um, then, uh, you don't really get to know your next door neighbors. Do you know your next door neighbors, by the way? Do, do you say hello to your next door neighbors? Do you know their names? Do you ever talk to them? So these are uh, synthetic suburbs, really. They're, um, they're made up of, they, they are made up of a bunch of people that are put together according to computer algorithms, I guess, and um, according to, to, to some, some game theory. And, um, well, the street I live in, the, the, exact, the exact geographical coordinates that I live in, that, that I live in, are probably computed, okay? So, um, not too far from where I live, there exists a shopping center and if if I go further down the road, a few kilometers further down, there is another shopping center. Okay, the, the shopping center closest to me, I call that the Temple of um, Sibeles, okay, because um, it has to do with, with fertility. Well, that's a Woolworths. Further down the road, that's an IGA, and I call that the Temple of Medusa, okay, because there's a lake next to it and um, um, there, there's a lake next to it and it, it, ha it has something like a, like a deep mystical flavor about it. By the way, I went there 
I went there a few nights, uh, maybe a year and a half ago. I spent two nights at the Temple of Medusa. I went into a coffee shop. A young lady served me coffee. I started talking to her. And we we talked about Matt. She told me she um, she told me she's taking her she was taking her maths exams, and um, I my, my 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 thoughts stayed with the young lady, and I came back and I I uh, attempted I started writing a course an introductory an, an introductory course in mathematics, and. Um, Eventually, I, I, I gave my proposed solution to the Riemann hypothesis. That's how it happened. Because I, I, got my coffee, I, I got my coffee from the Temple of Medusa. Okay. Um, now, I live in Swan Valley in Perth. Um, and I do my grocery shopping at uh, the... the not, not not too far from where I live at at the Temple of Sibelis, I guess, at that Woolworth over there. Uh I guess I should I should get my cheese and tomatoes from uh, from the Swan Valley. Okay. Swan Valley is still a highly productive area, agriculturally speaking, okay. But I, I'm not. I'm not I'm not taking my cheese, I'm not buying my uh, cheese and tomatoes from the Swan Valley for some reason because it's more convenient to get it from Woolworths. All right, and um, well, I should. I, I think I think this should be strongly encouraged. I should I should definitely get my cheese, tomato, coffee, tea, all all the good stuff that there exists in Swan Valley, I should buy it from the Swan Valley because I live in the Swan Valley. Okay, and if I was to live in Girawin, I'd still get it from the Swan Valley. If I was to live in Balkata, I'd still get it from the Swan Valley. If I was to live in Fremantle, I'd still get it from the Swan Valley, if you know what I mean by that. Because, well... Farmers are struggled in in the Swan Valley. Okay, they they have to sell their land. Okay, if if the farmers sell their land, um, soon enough we we we're not gonna have agriculture in Perth anymore. Yes, uh, sooner or later we're not gonna have agriculture in Perth anymore, and uh, Perth will become reliant on. The eastern states, I guess, and when the same phenomenon will repeat on the eastern states, like the the, the same drill, the, the same situation re will repeat on the eastern states, Australia will become uh, dependent uh, agriculturally on imports. Okay, and this is what I what I really wanted to talk to you about. Uh, tonight and it's not uh, my idea really I should acknowledge uh, I shouldn't acknowledge folklore that goes around in New Zealand people in New Zealand made this correlation a long time ago right uh, buy locally support locally okay um, so why would anybody buy uh, ex imported stuff right why would i buy imported stuff well i think i'm uh, if i was to to be a hundred percent on imported stuff i'd say i'm being a snob okay um i'm i'm, I'm using the, the the very same word that i would use in in my native language i'm i'm predisposed towards being a snob okay I am, uh, I, I just want to show off, okay, I want to show off, I'm a highly refined type of guy, okay, I, I'm buying imports, okay, and then, oh, well, it's weird, it's strange, but that's, that's precisely what happens, okay, um, 
that's the phenomenon that's 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 what happens explicitly okay people are encouraged to buy imports because they are um, they think it's cool it's a trend right they they're being trendy <sighs> yet um, if if the entire Perth area if the entire metropolitan area of Perth which is 2 million people right now I guess and it's still growing uh, I hope I, I sincerely hope Swan Valley is not going to grow anymore. Um, if the entire metropolitan area of Perth becomes dependent on, on imports, then uh, okay, how are the people of Australia going to pay for their food, for their subsistence, so, so to speak? And they're, I mean, they're going to pay by their resources, right? And, um, well, that, that creates a problem, okay? We become, um, we, Australia, Perth, Perth in particular, and Australia in general, becomes a tiny wheel on a, on a, on a global scale, on a global, on a, on a, on a global machinery, just a very, very tiny chip. A tiny wheel, okay? And as long as um, Australia will be supplying uh, whoever demands it with quality gold or iron ore or nickel or whatever they demand, okay, whatever they demand, God forbid, as long as Australia does supply that, we get good food, okay? So, um, yeah. Um, so this is, this is the mechanism in question. This is what happens. And to be entirely honest with you is it, it's very far from, from being a superficial joke. I'm surprised air and water are, are, are free these days. Well, water is not entirely free. I go out, I, I, I go out of my house and I can't find good water anywhere. I can I, I cannot find good water in inside my house these days. Yet um, air is breathing is still um, for free, and I, I'm 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 surprised that, that, that there's no tax on 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 breathing air. I guess that there's no way of of quantifying how much air people breathe. So the big perspective is this. The big um, early 1900s, there was um, a move from um, an agricultural society to a heavily industrialized society. I guess that 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 was around the time of the Great Depression. Um, We went uh, through um, the industrial phase of our civilization. Uh, then, uh, okay, we we are. I think we are. Most of us are familiar with Margaret Thatcher and Thatcherism. Well, that set the that 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 set the the, the beginning of moving from. Uh, the the industrial society to uh, something else, which nowadays uh, is clearly an informational society. Okay, um, a, a society that is uh, algorithmically and built in a synthetic fashion. Okay, um, just ju just look around you. Everything is synthetic. Okay, what we eat, what we drink, um, the, the the people we meet around us, the the, the ecosystem at work, like the, who sits who sits next to me in in, in my office, uh, whose cubicle is next next to mine in at the corporation that I work at. 
all of these things are synthetic okay and uh, well how okay how do i fornicate that that's synthetic too okay and it's it, it's getting worse and worse uh from that perspective okay Com okay so computerizing an environment in this fashion cannot be a good thing that's why i'm saying it's getting worse and worse um why is that well there's principles of entropy okay if i was to run if i was to um, write a computer program that would run the entire world just suppose okay suppose suppose I, I am to write a computer program that runs the entire world in this fashion well um principles of entropy dictate that one cannot do that okay um and there's also Gödel's incompleteness theorem, which basically tells us that that, that a, a very simple application like that, that that only requires doing arithmetic, so um, can, can cannot cannot be built exhaustively. So if I am to write a, an application that that that, that only does certain operations of arithmetic, uh, that application will not be full will, will not be exhaustive okay because it's impossible to come up with the complete set of rules in mathematics so yes um principles of entropy dictate that we should be free from um this type of of, of computing man com computers mendling with with our lives in such a way okay because it doesn't work we become unhealthy and um, um, relying on computers in, in, in such in such an uh, ex extensive and intensive way is damaging to, to our faculties of of being human okay we is damaging to our humanity in general well um so that was the, the 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 first point that i wanted to make the fact that basically um it's it's impossible and it's damaging too okay just consider the the idea of uh, unmanned vehicle, um, not unmanned vehicles, the, the autonomous vehicles. Okay. Well, uh, that leads me to the second point that I that I want to make. Um, why would anybody want to computerize the entire world? I'm, I'm not talking computerized Perth or computerize my home. Okay, I, I press a remote and. Uh, the 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 the, um, the shutters open and all of a sudden it's light in my house. Okay, that that may be good. That may be convenient. Okay, um, so I'm not talking about computerizing my home. I'm not talking about computerizing my suburb. Well, that that's already pretty fucked up. I'm not talking about computerizing the entire city of Perth including the set of sets of lights and uh, uh, the, the trains and everything like uh, making it a clockwork mechanism if you want um, that's that's an idea of the 18th 19th century okay the universe is is is, is just a, a watch I guess. I don't think I don't think that is correct. I don't think uh, I, I don't think that that kind of strong determinism is correct. But um, okay, why would anybody want to computerize the entire world? So it's not just my house. It's not just my suburb. It's not just my city. It's not just the country I live in. Um, 
it's the entire world. Why why would they want that? Well, why why would they really? It's is for control and domination. Okay, world control, world domination. Okay, so coming back to the previous example of um, uh, autonomous vehicles. Well, I jump in an autonomous vehicle. Okay, I mean it's supposed to run smooth, right? I'm supposed to relax. I'm reading a book. I'm um, I'm I'm just doing some Sudoku, I guess. While the vehicle itself takes me from A to B, well, what if I crash? Okay, and that happens. Trust me, that will happen. Um, if okay, theory goes, if I am a undesirable individual for anybody if if somebody further up in the hierarchy in the social hierarchy considers me an undesirable individual i will have a crash okay somebody does decide that and um, i will have a crash and i'll die okay this is where things are going <clears throat>